the Honorable Prime Minister, the Honorable Minister for Education, the um, Honorable Minister for Women and Social Welfare. Representatives of the Australian High Commission, representatives of uh, the Fiji Water Foundation, office bearers, supporters of the Vision Fiji, ladies and gentlemen. Kulabinaka and a very good afternoon to you all. I am honored to have been asked to be the patron of uh, Vision Fiji's Read to Lead Fiji program, which as you all know, is designed to create a love of reading among our children and improve their literacy. I know I can speak for every mother in this room and every mother in Fiji when I say that developing reading skills is one of the most important things we can do to prepare our children for what we all hope will be a lifetime of learning. The local NGO Vision Fiji has been set up to promote children's literacy across 732 primary schools in Fiji. The first phase or pilot phase of this program is targeting as a priority those primary schools who have the least resources. So we are focusing in the initial stages on the children who need assistance most. Some of these schools have only room with uh, 20 or fewer, stu fewer students. Many come from disadvantaged backgrounds and homes where only a book might be a Bible or a hymn book or a re religious publication. So there is no question about the level of need and also no question about our determination to transform the lives of these children through a love of books. In this pilot phase, 110 schools are receiving assistance from the um, Australian High Commissioner's Direct Assistance Program, and 220 schools are receiving additional support from the Fiji Water Pro uh, Foundation. I want to warmly thank both the Australian Government and Fiji Water for the wonderful support they are giving our children to make them better readers. So far, Vision Fiji has covered 330 schools, but we still have another 402 schools which require assistance. So this is an ongoing program, and I appeal to every Fijian capable of doing so, and especially our corporate friends, to give whatever donations you can to enable Vision Fiji to achieve its objective of covering every primary school in Fiji. What these, children, what these schools are getting is an instant library called Everyday Books Box Library that includes 250 books at five different reading levels. So children with, uh, so children with different reading skills will have access to a range of books, both fiction and non-fiction, that are either well-loved classics or other titles that children want to read. Vision Fiji has invested a lot of time and effort in making sure these books are relevant to Fiji. They have all been approved by the Fijian Ministry of Education and the government is also arranging delivery through the Ministry's Library Services of Fiji. As well as the books themselves, the books themselves, the Everyday Books Box Library set includes teaching resources, a CD-ROM, activity guides and a lesson plans for teachers. It's all about creating a love of reading among our children, getting them away from the television and electro electronic games to pick up a book and open up the world of knowledge that literature can provide for our young people. I want to find the imaginations of everyone about what we can achieve with this program. It is an important part of the education revolution now sweeping Fiji, and which, as you all know, the Prime Minister regards as his government's most important achievement. I also want to fire the imaginations of every young person in Fiji about what is possible if they develop a love of reading. As the low slogan says, today a reader, tomorrow a leader. It is a journey that I would like to see every Fiji, ch Fiji, child, Fiji child take as we open up a world of opportunity for our young people and develop the clever country that we all hope Fiji can be. Again, thank you all for the work that you have done for our children, and thank you for giving me the honor of being your patron and addressing you today. I wish the program every success now and in the future, 
and the user hit the knuckle back a label and thank you. The Honourable Minister of Women, Children and Community Education, Mr. Rajdeep Burr, Assistant Minister of Education, Bridget Han, members of the Diplomatic Forum, patron of Read to Lead, Fiti, Mr. Manamo, my old friend uh, from uh, uh, Commerce Commission days, currently the CEO of Fiji Waters, Mr. Nubal Rua, representatives of the donor agency, <coughs> invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. And I see my, uh, our permanent secretary, Ms. Clara Colum. Yeah, uh, we are moved to have you here. You know, that shows how passionate you are. And you could have played golf like others, but no. Yeah, like I don't play golf. You chose not to be here. <laughs> gentlemen, at the outset, let me state that I'm indeed privileged and honored uh, to be here with you today on this occasion, which means so much to the education of our children. My presence here today emanates from our education vision of the Banimarama government, which is quality education for peace, progress and change. And gentlemen, within this education framework of the Banimarama government, what differentiates us from the past government is we don't shy away from challenges, we take them head on for the greater good for all Fijians. We don't get intimidated by the vocal minority, but also listen to the silent minority, the silent minority, uh, majority, silent majority who have suffered for so long. That is the framework that we operate within. Ladies and gentlemen, while I'm excited about this feat and what it has in store for Fiji, I can see from the occasion today the opportunity for many of our children to recharge with new ideas and reinforce basic concepts, concepts and principles, along with highlighting the almost unlimited reward of reading for the children of the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today on two important events, for two important events, and they are the launching of the Read to Lead Fiji project and the formal handing over of the donated books from donor agencies to assist our children, teachers, and schools with the relevant resources to boost the learning, in particular, open reading as well. Often they're confined to closed reading, which I define as reading within the confines of the subject area, but this project will allow them to also take open reading. I also want to acknowledge the vice next vice of the United University, Professor Yim Rao. I must first all uh, first of all acknowledge Vision Fiji uh, for spearheading this initiative of Read to Lead Fiji. I have been reliably informed that this project was piloted or will be piloted in 110 primary schools of which each will receive a total of 250 books. Must also make special mention of the kind donors, Scholastic International Australia's Direct Aid Project and the Fiji Water Foundation for their support in ensuring that this initiative materializes in schools. I wish to also thank the staff of the Library Services of Fiji for facilitating this project in the 110 pilot schools that have been identified. Ladies and gentlemen, as Minister of Education, Health and Arts, I want to ensure, assure Vision Fiji and all the relevant stakeholders today that the Minister of Education fully supports this initiative. You are not helping us, you are not helping, uh, you are not doing a favour, you are helping us to do what we are supposed to do. And I echo the sentiments of uh, the of Prime Minister, that we need to work with our stakeholders to better and speed up the delivery of services which has been denied to the majority and those who are excluded from the centre. Understand that you are in the infant stage and are wishing to spend your services to the more than 700 primary schools we have nationwide. The Ministry of Education will always support the initiative as such that will be rewarding benefits for the future generation of this nation. You will also note that we have also had a number of strategies to um, uh, improve the visibility of our library services. To, the end, to this end, every month, last Saturday, we'll be having uh, uh, open field uh, days at every town. Organized by the Library Service of Fiji. Let me quote uh, from a uh, literary Langford who stated The only true equalizers in the world are books. The only treasure house open to all corners is a library. The only wealth which will not decay is knowledge. The only jewel which you can carry beyond the grave is wisdom. I couldn't agree more. 
Ladies and gentlemen, when we approach and open the pages of books, we will always find them full of the, the dissension and disputes. They come alive with abuse and detraction. They're all shades of opinions and volumes upon volumes of the ironies of life and even death. In the same manner, books can cheer and enlighten us. They may inspire us and delight us. And indeed, if you use them rightly, they will make us all more wiser and better, allow us to make more reasoned judgments and make decisions based on logic and rationale. Only in this way we can sustain knowledge capacity of society as well as create a well-informed nation. I'm certain that this exciting worldwide project will have positive impacts on our quest to build a smarter future. With those few words, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you all. Uh, thank you for your kind gesture and providing us this valuable opportunity for the students of this nation. Thank you, Nakan. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. 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 Thank